this one. Oh, you're kidding me. September. Kyle Lafferty. Are you no! joking me? Is that right? I know. Is that right? Uh, anybody else? Leash, was it? Like, that is one of the most stupid questions. Darius Vassell? Seriously, you all need to just stay quiet. This is getting really annoying doing this quiz. What is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, welcome, 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 welcome along to the shoutiest segment on a multitude of platforms. It's the scintillating, it's the stupefying, it's the splendido crappy quiz. And we know the crappy quiz can be a lot. It can be a bit much for you to handle as you head serenely into your weekend. The last thing you need is a load of Egypts shouting, arguing and cursing about inane sports trivia. And yet here we are offering you, it to you each and every Friday for reasons beyond our own understanding. And especially beyond the understanding of our digital team, who it turns out we annoy so much that they announced last week that we were marking seven weeks in a row. Uh, it was, in fact, only three weeks in a row. It just felt like more. Uh, so this is, in fact, our fourth straight week uh, this week, a modern-day record, I would imagine. And I've just lost my script here halfway through. But, uh, of course, that is a month of crap. So apologies for that. But what crapper way to introduce than to talk about our crappiest of crappy quizzers? And again, I, have, I haven't yet found my uh, script here, so this is just a crap start to a crappy quiz. Sorry about perfect. that. What more do Our you want? first contestant. Still haven't got it. Still haven't got it. Still haven't got it. Let's make it up. Here we go. There's not a finger left on this man's hands this week. It's Christmas Eve in the Farney County. It doesn't come without its stresses, though. His humble capital abode has been overrun for the weekend with second cousins, primary school acquaintances, and even someone he's never heard of who's home from America. There aren't enough sausages in the supermarket to sort out the pre-game breakfast. It'll be all worth it, though, if they can overcome the mighty dubs. But don't worry, Shane. Come 8 o'clock tomorrow night. I will know how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shane Monaghan Machete Hannon everybody hello everyone hello everyone will the, will the last person leaving Monaghan tomorrow put, turn the lights off because half the county seem to be going literally half the county everyone I know is going there won't be and after we beat the dubs there won't be green diesel washed for a week what's the population of Monaghan Shane the population is about 65 odd thousand right okay 60, so 65 yeah literally yeah. half could be going quite like literally I think there's around 30,000 Monaghan fans wow so and obviously people from abroad and stuff oh, as well that, coming home I don't know who it was and I don't know who where I saw the line was some clip out of an article about the population of Monaghan keep getting like it's so small keeps getting reduced reduced <laughs> reduced and someone's saying punching above their weight it's like by the end of the week or whatever they'll just be the 15 lads who are playing <laughs> like, if you if, you, <laughs> if Monaghan win in the Monday papers every time you see the words the phrase punching above their weight is used take a shot and you'll be absolutely loaded come Monday afternoon um, it's, it's, it's overused but sure listen we'll be there in spirit we'll be there in, in, in body tomorrow and uh, I can't wait for it if uh, anybody is listening on radio uh, they won't be able to see Shane's um, basically confirm with the script with a beautiful uh, blue and white headband actually on his head yeah. where nobody wears those headbands it's true but, yeah, yeah when you think about it that's where it's supposed to be headbands. it's on your wrist normally yeah. usually it's on the wrist yeah, yeah. I, go for, I go for double wrists usually yeah for Adam you feel like some kind of colours then a t-shirt yeah. or whatever yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah okay let's move on to uh I can't um. find Okay, here we go <laughs> I don't know what's going on today can't Sorry. Find our this, next isn't, this isn't very well organised Okay, you'll have to forgive our next contestant If he seems a little bit distracted Over the course of events this evening He's got a big night coming up next Thursday As the Hurling Pod Live goes to the splendid Borgosh Energy Theatre With special guests Joe Canning, Kieran Carey and Tommy Walsh Tickets, by the way, available on offtheball.com Forward slash events Needless to say, this man lives, breathes and sleeps hurling At the best of times But his preparation this week has become a little obsessive I would say Last night he sent me a 5,000 word essay on why Joe Canning actually became a better hurler when he swapped his famous red helmet for a white one. In fact, so obsessed has he become with hurling, I can see him there, zoned out, seeing my head as nothing more than a talking hurley, just, re <laughs> just repeatedly screaming, drive it in for feck's sake, will you? Over and over again. Please welcome Larry Will, Larry Burrow Callahan. Yeah, I mean, look, direct hurling is in vogue at the moment, Michael, so yes, I will take all of your barbs in exchange for the very nice plug you gave for the road show at the start. You can pretty much say or do whatever you like for the next 40 minutes and you'll get away with it. I also have a shout out as well James oh, McGovern do go on uh, one of Will's people is this is your stalker no, no this is a 
is a listener <laughs> to the stronger? crappy quiz I believe a viewer as well of the crappy quiz okay. who I bumped into on the bus last night sorry James you're not a sock yeah. who's who, his favourite who are his favourites uh, he loves, he trains loves, this man gets around public transport he meeting does. his people I love Adrian Barry he says <laughs> and then wondered where is Adrian Barry at which point I had to reveal he's on his latest five week holiday I think that actually came up in the crappy quiz quiz of the year last year which was <laughs> Adrian Barry took three weeks off last year how long was he actually gone <laughs> I, I believe seven that weeks was the question a trick yeah. question yeah. 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 and I was on the quiz with him and I had no idea how long he was gone for I was trying to estimate to the nearest month but there I didn't go. know who he was when he walked back into the office I was like oh there's a new guy <laughs> it was actually just Adrian back for five weeks distinguished new guy yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, and finally, we welcome back to the quiz a man who's got his own worries ahead of next weekend. No tickets have yet been secured for this renowned biographer of Limerick Hurling. Even an emergency trip to the traditional ticket hotbed of New York City proved fruitless. <laughs> he's willing to uh, offer good cash money for them, of course, but he's also told me he's willing to throw in a free PDF of his hit thesis on Bob Dylan, which has been downloaded 500 times in the last month alone. Look, I know you're a big Dylan fan, JP. Sort of brother out. Give it up for the good Dr. A. Arthur, O.P.H.D. <laughs> How's it going? No tickets yet. <laughs> no. I am right love in saying it, no tickets it. yet, Arthur. Yeah, confident leads, but nothing. I don't think they're out yet. Technically, are they? Like, oh, that's a good question. I, I don't, don't know, know if they're. I, I gave up my search on uh, oh, Sunday yeah, evening sorry. at like six o'clock. I was talking about your pack <laughs> the other day. Your like, I heard you. You're, you're being discussed. You're uh, you're making a fool of me again, Shane. You're just staying at being a GF. I think we all feel that though. When your team loses and you you can't concentrate for at least Not a day or two. Forgotten. Forgotten. <laughs> forgotten yeah. what it's like. Oh no, well, listen. <laughs> Shane, it's nice uh, Shane kind of like uh, even took the victory against our man, made yourself out to be even crazier than me, which I kind of enjoyed. Yeah, yeah. You took yeah. the heat off me a little bit. That's fair. I nearly died watching that penalty shoot. I almost had an OTB <laughs> listener moment with you during the week, by the way. Do it. I almost had an OTB listener moment with you during the week. Oh, really? Yeah. You were out drinking on the street. I think it was either Tuesday or Wednesday. Oh, with the sister? Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. You saw them in real life. I did. On one of your public transport journeys, was it? No, I was going to the car park. I saw you on Instagram in that particular Ah, there you were in a lovely FAI. Yes, retro top. a pair of shorts. I think he was walking to the bar literally as I was walking down the street at the time. I let you go because I wanted to go. Home. It's having me stout. As ever, the format in the, is the classic crappy quiz with a series of questions on a range of teams. Then on to the slip inside of trivia, the egalitarian, never unfair, rapid fire round. You can podcast the crappy quiz on the Off the Ball app, and if you're listening on radio, you will be able to f- watch the farce unfold in glorious Technicolor and blue and white headbands by subscribing to our channel on YouTube. Please send any questions you have via postcard slash cereal box to Crappy Quiz Quizmaster Off the Ball Towers Marconi House Diggs Lane Dublin Two. None again this week. Very very unfortunate. Right, how many minutes are we in, Catherine? Seven forty-two. I tell you, I'm quicker at this than Jer. He never gets in in the first ten minutes true, to the questions. True. Can I just make a correction? Oh, well, I know you're after a, a quick correction for the record. <laughs> now, now the time's under pressure here. This isn't a blue and white headband. This is a, a white, white and blue. You're right. You're right. Course, you know white yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. not a cabin headband. Of course, yeah. It is yeah. A Take no digital team. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we gotta get it right. Fair enough. Fair enough. The not boring questions round is round one, as always. Never multiple choice. And today's questions all relate to the glory and cruelty of semi-finals. Question one for you, Shane. Manchester United's 3-2 win in Turin in the 1999 Champions League semi-final is seen as one of the great Champions League performances and results of all time. It's best remembered for Roy Keane's goal, performance and yellow card. But who scored Manchester United's two other goals that night? Nice handy layup. Mm-hmm. Get you started. <laughs> <laughs> A gimme, as they say. Um, Put the pressure on here, Shane. Dwight York and Andy Cole. Of course it was. Now, hold on. There's a, there's a wrong answer erroneously pressed there that was the correct answer <laughs> what do you mean of course do people actually remember the rest Abs- of that game absolutely Pretty especially big. during Cole surrounded by so United much. fans oh, would you lads both have gotten it yeah because really? I didn't remember the goal I wouldn't have had York, a clue the York, the I thought he was going to ask who scored the UV goals which a York was, header I would have still got the answer yeah. I think it was Inzaghi it was a York header yeah and down then, low and then the other goal was Cole kind of got in York got dragged down or whatever it was and he came in around full speed ahead Barcelona so hopefully that's the same well, Arthur, your, yeah, your yeah. one is one that isn't necessarily easy, but I think you'll enjoy trying to answer. Oh, good, good. <laughs> That's the point, all right. So Shane got a special. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Shane got his his specialist subject to his. I, I freely admit it. So to avoid your moaning, you've got the same. Listen, uh, next. Li- yes, okay. you are for some reason. I don't know why. List every Limerick, uh, every team that Limerick have played in All Ireland semi-finals since 2010 in order and with the year. Since 2000. Well, they're not, okay, so they're not been in so yeah, you don't year. have to say yeah. the years that they're not there. But obviously, <laughs> I'm just <laughs> picking a random starting point. Well, that's a nice handy one for a Limerick biographer as well. So, yeah, he has a lot to get, though, and he can't make any mistakes. 
Because so they've had a good run of things. I don't know if you've heard that, Shane. Uh, apparently so. That's all, they're, that's all they're talking about. Pretty sure 10 to 12 is nothing. 13. So, so 14 is Kilkenny. Okay. All Ireland semi I did ask for it in order, but if you're giving me the years, I'll accept it. All Ireland semi finals. Yeah. 13 was Clare, sorry, yeah, of course. 15, 16, there's nothing. So we've got 13 and 14. 17, there's so nothing. Yeah. 18 is Cork. Yeah. 19, Kilkenny. Yeah. 20 is Galway. 21 is Waterford. 22. So 20, sorry, 22 was last year. 22 was last year is Galway. 23, Galway. There we go. That's there very good. Right. I thought he was going to confuse the COVID years there. The two COVID. Uh, it's a risk, yeah. yeah. No, the only He's thing I remember dunk. is because Canning, that game with Canning getting knocked out was just, it was, it was empty and it was nice. I just remember that, that it was very late. Mm. It was like, just because just it was December. What, yeah. year, what year did the JP McMahon's really come in? He's been given money for decades, right. but like oh, right. the naughties, I think. Late I naughties. think, yeah. I that that specific money since the low of the late and all these early ten. But like he was there, he though. was in the. I, I don't know what the full story. Like he was in the dressing room in seventy three when they won. So he was obviously involved was. in some way. Yeah, but I'm not sure what it is. He would have been pretty young then. I don't know what the involvement was. But they definitely talked about that. It might have just been a club thing, I suppose. Mm. Mm. Uh, two points in the not boring questions rounds, which is unusual. Can we make it a clean sweep? Will of the football teams who have never played in an All Ireland final. One came closer than ever before this century, making a semi-final and losing out after a replay. What county was it? <laughs> That's a hard one to wrap your head around. <laughs> so, of teams that have never played in an All-Ireland final, yeah. one have made a semi-final this century. Yeah. Who was it? Come and on. they were beaten in a replay. <sighs> so on and beaten straight 2018. Don't say if whether Monaghan have been in finals or not, Shane. Yeah, well, Monaghan haven't been to a final, so semi-final is the furthest they've gone. But it only went to a replay in 2018. Monaghan have never played in the final? Once, 1930. Yeah. Oh, well then we can rule that out, great. Well, that's helpful. This century, well, though, did you say? I just wanted to make sure I wasn't wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but did you, you said this century, did you? No, yeah. they've never been to a final. The, the, team the teams have never been to a final at all. Oh, sorry, right. Yeah. Of those teams, yeah. one of them have made a semi-final this century gotcha. okay. in the last 23 years. <laughs> and they lost in a replay in that semi-final. It's a lot of clauses. Giving you as much as I can here. Yeah, you know, no, there's a lot of clauses in the question. But yeah. I'm even ruling out your wrong answer. You are, great. <laughs> which, which I was very tempted by because I was thinking maybe this was like a double love for chance in beside me. Uh, right, so team loss. Do you know this? I have an answer in my head. All right, do you? I've not stopped giving it enough thought, but I, I... I'm just trying to figure out its level of difficulty. Yeah. I've been told to keep it moving. Sure, we're not rush, are we? I'm sure that's a fair point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stay around. Yeah, hey, on there. day. <laughs> All right. It's only the producers in a hurry. Just let it roll. The listeners just enjoy it, you know. I just speed it up a bit. Surely they've won one. We're still on round one. Uh, it's a great question. That'll get it people is, thinking. It is. It's yeah. It is complicated. When you have to explain the question four times, it's a problem. But I've a real like I've a real feeling that they got to a replay though. It's the replay thing that's stinking. I didn't me. remember the replay. I'll be honest. Yeah, still though. Again, another bloody clue. I don't, I don't know why that's a clue, but yeah, I don't, <laughs> I know, don't remember. The I, don't, I don't know if it's <laughs> a particularly <laughs> famous replay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. or a famous draw. All right, no, on. Not news, not me. Okay, man, we're gonna have yeah, to yeah, yeah, no, list every county in Ireland. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to think of what's happened. Um, and the UK and America, of course. Yeah, Warwickshire. <sighs> Get that. Uh, Limerick? No, no. I'm pretty sure Limerick have all not Ireland. Uh, yeah, from the first it's one, not, I think. Uh, it's not Sligo, is it? No. 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 It is Fermanagh. Ah, of course. 2004. Yeah. They drew with Mayo and were beaten Jesus. in the replay. That's yeah. a good question. And they've never been to an all Ireland final. They've also never won They've never won an Ulster, mm. exactly. Yeah, so it was through the qualifiers. Bad. Okay. How did you figure that one out? That's, yeah, that's, that's a random that you, it's it's not even, you can't even go list of year by that or list of winners you really have to go through every single championship don't ask me it didn't take <laughs> me that long unlike, unlike round three of the uh, soon to come uh, uh, past the parcel round <laughs> which if you get it wrong early I'll kill the whole audience because it took me the whole day to do yesterday <laughs> okay round two before we get to that though is the final go round possibly 
of the Who Played for Both round. Have you all played this before? I don't have to over explain. No, uh, I didn't play, but so I, I know I didn't play. Okay, you well, explain I'll, it to me. I'll go through the round. Okay, so oh yeah, that's right. You were gone. In this round, I'm giving you five pairs of teams, and all you have to do is tell me a player who has played for both teams in the Premier League. Again, just to stress, I only have records in the Premier League years, so anyone that played previously or whatever um, won't be counted, and not just because football started in 1992. Like the Wikipedia round that has been replaced um, for a couple of weeks here, there's one major rule to avoid a complete carnage of a guessing free-for-all, and that's that each contestant must state their own name before guessing a player. Of course, it's a crappy quiz, so I need your crappy quiz nicknames. The Monaghan Machete. Uh, you can go for Larry Will or Larry Burr whichever suits you and we have OPHD uh, failure to do so will eliminate the contestant from the particular round question and you have um, obviously only one guess each um, five points up here Arthur. there's five points up yeah so Will sorry I realise now that it's hard enough to shout out your name without having choices in your head so maybe, this, maybe I'll decide I'll, I'll stick with Larry Bird there's five of them <laughs> yeah, yeah, five, 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 five them each yeah, yeah. So okay. or five, five to go okay so yeah you should you get most of them pretty quickly okay so first up name a player who has played in the Premier League for both West Ham and Manchester City. Go PhD. Go. Carlos Tevez. Carlos yeah. Tevez. Well played. Zabaleta would have been my guess. Zabaleta is there as well. There's a lot of kind of uh, n- names you haven't thought of in a long time here, including Ian Bishop, <laughs> uh, who I thought played cricket, but there you go. Someone um, in Standard. Frank Lampard, of course. Steve Lomas. Um, he of the North Eil Berkovich Trevor Sinclair the late Mark Vivian Foe uh, Paolo Wanshop David James Tevez as Arthur already called Craig Bellamy uh, Tal Banhaim Wayne Bridge um, Neither I would say in his prime uh, at his prime uh, Joe Hart and Pablo Zabaleta mm. as one of the lads mentioned there as well so Arthur goes into the lead here less options here name a player who played in the Premier League for both Watford and Manchester United Larry Burke Larry was the first oh, one I heard from yeah. Cleverly. I thought I was in first time. It was you very might have been. It was very close. It was very close. I have to just go up my ears here, guys. Sorry about that. What was your answer going to be? Uh, Ashley Young. Yeah, would have been right. We, I, mean, I think were, I think there's a share. I would have said Ben Foster, funnily enough. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, no, it's not shared. It's, it's, I think it's, there's, I think there's an argument for it. Lads, there isn't the trip to effect. How, how, can, some, how can someone Atlanta get a point for that as an answer here? I so agree, you said at the same time as me. And I with. think I was behind you, to be honest with you. I was. I heard you. You definitely oh, were, and yeah. I didn't hear Shane at all, so that's why I'm, I'm a little bit worried. I think that's a bit harsh. Closer to the mic. Will gets the point. I can do no more. You said three of the five, the other two are Igalo and Danny Welbeck. Uh, name a player who has played in the Premier League for both Liverpool and Sunderland. Bon Machetti. Yes, Jordan Shane. Hedges. John, Jordan Henry. There you go. Well played. <laughs> <laughs> Just make up for the last point, though. What if I lose by a point? The others. Now this is a this is a collection of players, right? Uh, Jordan Henderson being probably the most obvious. And um, anyway, Paul Stewart, Don Hutchison, Jason McAteer, Phil Babb, Stephen Wright, Anthony Letalic, Gibril Cisse, El Hadj Juff, Bolo Zenden, or as he was once called on an RT news bulletin, Bozo Zenden. <laughs> Bozo. <laughs> By John Murray. Bozo. <laughs> uh, Simon Mignolet, uh, Satris Kyriakis. Kyriak- say that for me someone? Satirius Kyriakis, is it? No, so- Satris uh, right. uh, Fab- Fabio Perini, Andrea De Sena, uh, Sebastian Coates, and Javi Manquillo. <laughs> Is a c- unbelievable collection of players. Sunderland just one of those clubs that will what take is your region. Also rejects. known as coat by some people. Yeah, yeah like yeah. Clonus is known as clones. <laughs> you know, you got to <laughs> pronounce it right. So Shane gets a point there. We've had one each in this round. Um, name a player who's played in the Premier League for both Tottenham and Stoke. A PhD. Yes. Yep. Yes. Well play quick. Jesus, lads, Sorry. quick off the mark in this round. It's been yeah, very impressive. Funny, I was quick in one and didn't get the answer. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew Etherington, our very own Stephen Kelly. Either good Johnson, don't remember him playing for either team. No, I don't. Uh, <laughs> right there. Peter Crouch, uh, Jonathan Woodgate, who's the answer to most of these questions. Uh, Wilson Palacios, one of the 15 people brought in to replace Glenn Whelan that was quickly put on the bench uh, as Glenn ke- kept his place forever. And Kevin Wimmer, who I've never heard of. Okay, the last one. Arthur has a chance to get good a big round. lead here. It is good round. round. Yeah. Yeah. Name a player who played in the Premier League for both Newcastle and Bolton. Bottom machete. Oh, oh Shane's right. in first there. Got it in there. Oh, oh, Kevin quick. Nolan. Yes, yes, yes. Kevin Nolan's a good answer there. You were just about quick enough, yeah, by the way. You yeah, can't yeah. beat the lay in here. Would, would the round be improved if we all had it, if instead of jumping in? Because it's kind of based on speed. I think so. A little bit, yeah. I oh, think so. I like the speed of it. If you work yeah. through it, yeah. keep now players. It's, 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 there's a way to f- work that into the other round that comes up. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, it's a passive rehearsal style yeah. round, yeah. Mm. Pia Beasley. 
Robbie Elliott Steve Howie who's come up on the show three times this week somehow <laughs> including this uh, Scott Sellers uh, Les Ferdinand Gary Speed uh, Andy O'Brien um, Abdul Fay. Mm-hmm. Did I yeah. say that right? Danny Guthrie and Kevin Nolan was the last so one there. The so name was be well nice. done to Shane, who equals Arthur at three at the top of the leaderboard. Will is trailing on one point, our defending champion, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, struggling. Nathan Glenn C still is. Well, he two defending game. champions. Then. Yeah. Uh, you're the only one defending. Anyway, we'll Pretty take true. a quick break and we'll be back with the exciting pass the pass around. Chris Martin. Oh, you're kidding me. September. Kyle Lafferty. Are you joking? Ah! Is that right? I know! Is that right? Uh, anybody else? Leash, was it? Like, that is one of the most stupid questions. <laughs> Darius Vassell? Seriously, you all need to just stay quiet. This is getting really annoying doing this quiz. What is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> A lot of arguments about the format, as usual, in the ad break there. But welcome uh, back to the uh, crappy quiz. It's not, Mick. It's suggested, oh, everyone's suggested, like, suggested everyone's improvements. Like, that's really good. That's really good. Do you know how you can make it better? Do it my way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Improve it this way. Anyway, round three, as the scores are Arthur three, Shane three, and Will on one, is the pass the parcel of Doom round. In this round, all you've got to do is give me a name that is on a list of names I have, and the parcel of Doom. I, I find it hard to say parcel of Doom. Passes on to the next contestant, who also has to give me a name we'll keep moving through the list until one of you gives me an incorrect answer at which point the parcel explodes and you will be eliminated and shamed forever when two players are eliminated the remaining player gets the one point which is a lot of work for one point Will I'd say isn't it I'd agree Mick yeah, I, I yeah. think probably the listeners would agree as well my orders are all over the place here I've got Tommy involved in everything here so we're going to go with Shane then Arthur then Will uh, here and this is grounds that have hosted games in the 2023 All Ireland Senior Football Championship. So this is provincials and groups and so and so f- and everything else of uh, since. We're looking for ground names when appropriate. I'll accept certain place names, but it's at the quiz master's discretion. I think you'll know the ones I'm talking about. But I I'll, I will give you the chance if you give me the place name to name the ground. Okay. We're not sponsors. doing sponsors, are we? No, I don't need them. Sure. No, surely not. I'm. I, I'm. I'm. Don't think we need that's sponsors. Nonsense. No sponsors. No yeah. sponsors. This isn't sponsored. <laughs> no. no sponsors, but feel free to include it in the name, obviously, yeah. as it is. If any of the sponsors want to sponsor, I was. I, I, I had. I had in my head. I was going to say there's two or three fairly established sponsors that are part of the name, but come on, we won't. We won't be picking and choosing. So here, it's though. not the town; it's the uh, actual stadium name. Yeah, obviously. Yes, I, I will accept one or two towns, but I will do it on a. Uh, so and no talent. No talent cup here. No Thousand Cup. We're just looking for oh, the provincial cool. championships. <laughs> I didn't listen to that. Any game that happened, any game that was played in this year's provincial championships, or the All Ireland groups, or the preliminary and quarterfinals. Discrimination. <laughs> okay, uh, Shane's up first, I believe. Croke Park. Crow Park is uh, hold on I just checked the list <laughs> don't remember any games there but yeah Crow Park I would have also accepted Dublin no, oh, no, I, I wouldn't no, no you wouldn't no. so oh, sorry what's your what's the ordinary me next Shane? me you next because this went wrong last week uh, Markovic Park Markovic Park in Sligo is correct I, I go for believe. Omar Park have you went and checked all these yeah, yeah I checked all this This didn't take that long This was a quick enough Gladysk on O'Connor Park In Tullamore It's not even the one I said But anyway What did you say? I said O'Moore Park Oh shit Which you did Dublin yeah. uh, O'Connor Park Tullamore <laughs> <laughs> Leash higher on Moore Park Port Leash And Gladysk O'Connor Park Tullamore I dropped my uh, My uh, sound pack Just as you were saying That's so well, I, I didn't know that one anyway Well you didn't uh, uh, Pierce Stadium Galway Pierce Stadium Salt Hill Yeah I'll accept Me next isn't it? It is. Uh, I will go for Pierce Stadium. Something. Oh, did he say that? No. No. Oh, no. 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 no, no. no. He gets knocked oh, no. out at least <laughs> that is once every single pass the parcel round for not listening. And I was about halfway through the answer I and realised. I had just said, like, for, you know, Pierce Stadium, Galway. Yeah, Pierce Stadium, Salt Hill. I will go for Pierce Stadium, Salt oh, Hill. There's nothing, there's, nothing worse. there's nothing worse, to be fair. You grab my other ones. <laughs> Shade. Um, Shane. 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 Park, Clonus. Sorry, what did you say there? Genex Park, Clonus. Yeah, sorry. Ch- um, the Gaelic Grounds. The TUS Gaelic Grounds, Limerick, yeah. 
the Boxit Athletic Grounds Armagh. <laughs> <laughs> I actually didn't have a sponsor for that there one, but go. yeah, there we go. The only new, only new sponsor on board. Um, Mikhail Park. Mikhail Park hosted a number of games this year, including the Connacht final. Um, Healy Park, Oma. Healy Park is correct as well, yeah. I'm running low now. Uh, Parky Cueve. Parky Cueve, yes. Not until the group stages. But they are there. Um, Park Sean McDermott, Carrick and Shannon. That's right. Avant Money, Park Sean McDermott, Carrick and Shannon. The longest there. That was the goal or the Armagh goal goal again. The neutral match. Neutral. Oh, that's fair play to you. The home and aways uh, make this a little bit easier than it used to be this round. I forget what that's saying. Um, is Cusick Park and Clare? Cusick Park, used? yeah, it was. It was. Clare had uh, played Cork there. In the, and they obviously had home game in the group stage as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, Fitzgerald Stadium, Killarney. That's right. I'm not sure if this has been done now yet. Yeah, it's Cusick Park again in Westmead. <laughs> it is. It only came in, for, uh, obviously, Westmead played in the group stages, so they played their TG Goal. Cusick Park in Mullingar. You're seething over there. <laughs> <laughs> he has every single one of them. <laughs> this is right in your wheelhouse. I know. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go for McCool yep. Park Bally Buffet. Uh, yeah, that's right, yeah. Will's, uh, Will's fans on the buses and trains of Ireland will be seething uh, they've lost all faith to the city I'd say uh, I don't know where that match was I don't think it was a thing uh, uh, Dr Hyde Park yes Dr Hyde Park was common it's where they'd be Mayo I believe maybe not I think there was a neutral game at Port Talton Navin there was Loud oh, no, maybe used it. I think Loud used it as their home yeah, venue, didn't they? Yeah. Sorry, yeah, that was it. Nolan Park. Yes. UPMC. Nolan Park, Kilkenny was the host uh, venue for Dublin versus Kildare. Kildare, Kildare yeah. yeah. Kingspan, yeah. Brefney Park, Cavan. Yeah. Ah, jeez, I thought you'd said that. Kingspan, anyway. Kingspan Brefney, apparently it's called now. Mm, yeah, they got the official park. name is Brefney Park. How many are left? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right. eight, nine left. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. The, the, the championship got around the country this year. Mm. Mm. Who's left? Who's next? Uh, it's Shane? Me. Oh, oh, sorry. It's me. I forget the name. I know the name of the sponsor one, but I don't know the name of the fun ground. <laughs> No, I'm gone. Really? Yeah. I got nothing else. What, what, what are you going for? Which was the one in fucking think Chad, which, sorry, that's twice. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, not official name. It's not oh too casual. Oh uh, which is a Chadwick's. Oh, Wexford Park, it would have yeah. been wrong anyway. Oh, okay. yeah, that's no. the one out you were there last week. I think I had one. I, definitely I didn't one know one. the name of the ground. I knew the one in New York. I, I, I don't know. What's it called? Is it I would have accepted Gaelic Park. Gaelic 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 Park. Park. Yeah, I, w- yeah, I, I wouldn't have I, I wouldn't have needed McGovern Park for Royslip. I would have accepted oh, yeah. Royslip. And I would Said. have obviously accepted Ockram for Ockram Park. But other than that, I was looking for his name. Celtic Park and Derry was one anyway. Yeah. 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 Park Esler wasn't used, was it? It yeah, was. Yeah. I don't know for what game, but it was used. Brewster Park and Skillen. FPD Semple Stadium, Turles. No. Ah, that's a bad one. Sure, they are. Yeah. Mm. Although for the football, yeah, I suppose for a neutral game. Actually, yeah, no, it was a it was a Talton Cup game yeah, yeah, there yeah, before yeah. the hurling. Yeah. yeah. Netwatch Cullen Park. Everybody should have got that just for its great name. Pierce Park, Longford, Ockram Park, as I mentioned, Gaelic Park, New York, and McGovern Park, Royslip. So Shane takes the lead. We're going to go with Arthur first for the next one, then Will, then Shane, as I am looking for players with ten or more goals in the 2022-23 Premier League season. Right, um, Harry Kane. Harry Kane with 30 goals. And Erling Haaland. Uh, Mo Salah. Mo Salah is correct with 19. Erling Haaland at 36, as everyone knows. Um, Rashford. Marcus Rashford with 17. Uh, I'll go for Martinelli. Gabriel Martinelli with 15. Callum Wilson. Callum Wilson with a surprising 18 goals I hmm. don't remember most of them um, hopeful more on this one Saka Saka with 14 yeah back to Will yeah uh, there's probably better options 
I'll go for Martin Odegaard, who I think got 11. Uh, Odegaard is 15, actually. 15, that's yeah. okay. That's Saka with 14, Odegaard with 15, and Martinelli with 15. Spread them very nice. Pretty good yeah. spread, yeah. It's me now, sorry. Um, Bruno Fernandes? No. Ooh, no. Bruno did not make the double figures this year. Silly answer. So he gone. You know, you didn't get their usual 15 penalties. Well, there, I was thinking of penalties there, yeah. I think I got insanely few penalties this year, actually. Unusually for the club yeah. who, you know, <laughs> prides themselves penalties. on buying penalties, yeah. <laughs> or just been given them sometimes. Fruit, yeah. Sorry, I'm only joking, United fans. I love you really. I especially like when your Bruno Fernandes tries to break a player's leg and gets a penalty for it. Hmm. Ollie Watkins. Yes. Ollie Watkins, great. Job. 15. This is a big list. How many years ago was that with Fernandes and I'm still carrying it around? <laughs> it was COVID anyway. Yeah, it's a few. Hmm. Let it go. I shall. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, did he get to I'm sure Eji Konza has the same <laughs> options. Wilson scored a loss. Did he get to 10? So we are past 30 minutes flying along. <laughs> <laughs> Steady pace. There we go. Uh, he surely did. Isak? Isak with 10. Good answer then. Yeah. Alexander Isak from Newcastle yeah he was injured a lot of the season mm. I was answer. wondering if Wilson had to score too many from the kids then right actually I would agree on that's hurrying this up a little bit who's left uh, me and Will oh everybody oh yeah I feel it's a slightly risky I still think he got more goals and things Darwin Nunes no didn't get to him. no you missed the big one lads the 20, Brian, I know. you missed the 20 goal player Ivan Tony. oh yeah mm. of course uh, Alexander Mitrovic had 14 Harvey Barnes had 13 Rodrigo from Leeds had 13 he's gone to Qatar now did you see that mm. M- Miguel Almaron who scored I think 11 weeks in a row in but the first scored 11, se- 11 yeah. goals Roberto Firmino in his last season got 11 Gabriel Jesus got 11 I thought we'd get to him with all the Arsenal talk Phil Foden had 11 surprisingly um, Awanini Aw- 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 the Nuts Forest guy <laughs> 10 <laughs> the Nuts Forest guy Eze uh, 10 Alexis McAllister 10 James Madison 10 and Sun Hung Min Sun oh, Hyung yeah, Min 10, 10 as, well. as well so that is this season and I, now that you're all warmed up for this I've got a great one but again a lot of work went into this one lads more than I expected so please think about the answers there's loads of obvious ones do not give me a stupid answer and get knocked out straight away I want 10 or more players who Oh, yep, sorry, ten. no, I don't want 10 or more players. <laughs> I want players with 10 or more Premier League goals in at least five separate seasons. All right, okay. Jesus. So this is consistent Premier League goals. Since 92. In, yeah, Premier League history, yeah. Okay, uh, Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney with the most in 12 seasons. He had over 10 goals. Um, including his year at, uh, uh, sorry, that's a good question. Will is first, luckily for him. He is, I'd written it down. Yeah. Knew that. Uh, it's Will Shane Arthur. Who did you say, Will, sorry? When he said Rooney. Rooney, who has, yeah, has had 12, he's at double figures in 12 seasons, which is kind of incredible. The most of anyone. Uh, Sergio Aguero. Sergio Aguero is correct. He has nine separate seasons of more than 10 goals. Um, Alan Shearer. Alan Shearer has 11, joint second most. Shearer's sure. gone. Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry has, I think, many. Uh, eight, I think. I haven't found him yet. Where are you, Thierry? Terry Henry. Eight, yeah. Um, Teddy Sheringham. Teddy Sheringham is a great answer. He has seven, including the first uh, four seasons of the Premier League, I think. Uh, did Shane get the last point? No, I got that. Yeah, no, I Will, got, oh, sorry, it's 4 3 2, yeah. 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 Uh, Will got the last point, Shane got the one before. Yeah. Uh, Andy Cole. Andy Cole, nine separate seasons. Coles and Shearers was mad in that, like, you'd think they were long gone retired and then they'd mm. pop up three se- seasons yeah. later with 14 goals or something. Mm. <laughs> uh, I will go for Frank Lampard. Super Frank is joint second, oh no, sorry, joint third with 10. Uh, there's only four players who've done it ten times or more. Jesus. You've got three of them already. In Shearer, uh, Lampard, and who's the first person said? Wayne Rooney. Rooney, yeah. Mm. Uh, Fernando Torres. No. No? No. Torres, four. Oh, 
lads. Torres did it three times at Liverpool, and I think possibly once with Chelsea. But I had he's a rick he, there. He's on the four list of which I have a big old group of as well. Oh, what? So Shane's gone. That's my go, is it? Yeah. Harry Kane. <coughs> Harry Kane, absolutely correct, with nine. He's on his way to double figures. If he stays. Why would I give a risky answer? He goes to, I don't know. It's a good. Silly, yeah. It's such a long list. Yeah. May season should make five, is it? Uh, five seasons, yeah. <laughs> Steven Gerrard? No. No. Gerard surprise. I actually don't Andy think that's that, 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 uh, he would have been there all day. Yeah, let's go through them here. Won, or was Drogba do five seasons? Yeah, Drogba's well in there. Uh, Ian Wright has six. Les Ferdinand has seven. This is an order of which they yeah. did it. Eric Cantona with five. Matt Letizia with five. Dion Dublin has seven. Robbie Fowler, as Arthur said, seven. Tony Coddy, the most impressive person on this list, with six. Dwight York with five. Michael Owen with eight. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has five. Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank has seven. Emil Heskey has five. Kevin Phillips has five. Robbie Keane has eight. Someone should have got him. James Beattie has five. Mark Faduka has five. Yakubu has six. Nicholas Anelka has seven. Darren Bent with five. Didier Drogba with five only. Robin Van Persie has seven. Dimitar Berbatov has five. Emmanuel Adebayor with five. Romelu Lukaku with seven. Olivier really? G- yeah. Jesus. And not in any time recently either. Yeah. Olivier Giroud has five. Sadio Mane has eight. Uh, which is really high Eden Hazard has 5 Jamie Vardy has 7 Son Young Min has 7 Christian Benteke with 5 Mo Salah with 6 Raheem Sterling with 5 and Roberto Firmino got in there on the last day of the season getting his 10th goal or whatever it was of the season to get 5 so a lot of work went into that but that <laughs> not that great answers but we went Arthur had a few left over so he ties Shane in the lead with four uh, Arthur's, Arthur and Shane are on four Will's on two and as ever with the pass the pass around we spend about 15 minutes and we end up exactly where we started 4-4-2 four, 4-4-2 four, <laughs> four, four, that's, that's what we call the Sam Allardyce scoreline the Sean Dyche round maybe yeah 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 that's the scoreline round four is the fun free magic number round contestant gets, contestants get three points for getting the number exactly right if no one manages that the nearest contestant who doesn't go bust gets two the closest uh, the second closest gets one of course if you do share it as you did last week both of you will get two points or all three even again I'm going to state that we can only accept the answer that's written on your paper and I'm going to have to ask for your pens that, once the music ends was that luck last week or did people know every answer uh, no it was pure coincidence two, um, two people had the same answer and the other person was bust yeah. so if you don't mind give me the following number the number of points that separated Galway and Limerick last Saturday the number of consecutive years inclusive of 2023 that Dublin have made an All-Ireland Senior Men's Semi-Final sorry yeah, sorry, yes. I didn't hear that mm-hmm. so the number of consecutive years including tomorrow that Dublin have been in semi-finals the, the number Kai Havertz will wear for Arsenal and the number of Open Championships won by golfers this century Catherine while the music is playing would you mind doing we'll a double golfers. check of the maths on this hey, one what? So who else is winning Opens <laughs> I mean, does that mean how many tennis players? I mean, I'd say just golfers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Irish golfers. Ah, <laughs> Irish like, golfers. 23. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the number of golfers, the number of opens. The number of opens. Yeah. The amount of opens won by them. Lads, you're, you're using all this. This is, this is filibustered so you get more time. No, consecutive I'll say it during the music. Your time uh, expires when Sinatra sings bright sh- shiny beads. Okay, so the number of points that separated Galway and Limerick, consecutive years Dublin have been in semi finals, Kai Havertz's number, and the number of championships, open championships won by Irish golfers this century. And the number is right, it's been confirmed. Thank you, Pat. I changed the question, you see, this is why I needed the double check. Okay, bright, shiny beads. Time's up. Will. 46 Shane 28 Right in the middle 36 <laughs> Okay Nobody's anywhere close uh, Will gets One point Two points Arthur gets one Shane gets nothing I don't know what Harvard's number is That's the, <laughs> <laughs> this is the problem yeah. I think Yeah I thought people would know that The number of points That separated Galway and Limerick Nine Nine is correct yeah. yeah The number of consecutive years Dublin have been in the semis it's 14 14, 14 Right no, it's Ridiculous 14, 14 next week. Uh, Kai Havertz will wear number I had 17 It's not right 20, I had 6 like 29 nah, 6 no Not a clue No Didn't want to go bust either you see. Yeah fair enough Sorry with 29. Oh sorry <laughs> You went with 6 Sorry six. sorry It's a very low number for a forward yeah. And the Open Championships won by Irish golfers 
Five. Four? I thought it was four. five. Yeah, it's five. Who's yeah. Dan Clark? Clark two one. for Harrington, Clark, oh, McElroy, and Lowry. Uh, shaved the one answer off. was 57, lads, so nobody was anywhere close. But it leads us in a pretty one. good place for the uh, um, rapid fire round because Arthur's in the lead with five points. Shane and Will both have four. So we're on oh. to the final, which is this is exactly where we were last week, I think. Yep. Um, no team in particular rapid fire round disputed difficulty etc 20 seconds each uh, we'll start with the player on the lowest score which is whoever won the coin toss between Shane and Will which is if Shane versus Will Will gets to choose no sorry Arthur it's Shane Will isn't it <laughs> Arthur gets to choose Shane and Will yeah <laughs> okay Will you choose uh, Shane you can go first go on, okay so Shane is going to go first in the rapid fire round you're 20 seconds if you're ready I am start now who is the cabin football manager step down this Thank week you, where will next week's Open Championship take place Roy Bertil no uh, Andy Cole signed for Manchester United from what club he doesn't what Spanish defender joined, Lee, uh, joined Aston Villa this week pass uh, who did Christian Pulisic sign for this week uh, AC Milan who is the manager of Brentford uh, Thomas Frank who, how many European Cups have Liverpool won six six is correct that was good uh, Mick, Mickey Graham is correct Royal Liverpool slash Hoylake yes, sorry. is the uh, place where the Open will take place Andy Cole signed from Newcastle Pau Torres signed for Villa mm. sorry I said Leeds there initially and uh, Christian Pulis signed for AC Milan you got that right you got Thomas Frank right and you got six right so you got five yeah. five that's very good yeah so that moves you on to nine and declared take it yeah. Take so it. Shane's on <laughs> nine don't sign your card just yet no 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 Will are you ready? Yep. Okay, your time starts now. Who was the referee for Clare to Kenny Hurling semi final last week? James Owens. No. Uh, in what year did Park Harrington win his first Open Championship? 2008. No. Uh, who was the manager of Crystal Palace? Uh, for Hodgson. Who was last year's Wimbledon Ladies Champion? Uh, Sabalenka. No. In what year did Clare last win the All Ireland Hurling title? 2013. Who was the Dublin Hurling manager? Uh, me all done. <laughs> Yes, sorry, they weren't very well divided. But so Odon, who kind of his name is Michal Donahue? Ah, yeah. Come on, I don't know. Man. That's fine, I'm taking that. Might for Will. Uh, Column Lines. That's you anyway. Uh, Only be in the corner, sorry. Uh, Column Lines was the referee. Uh, Harrington won his first Open Championship in 2007. Roy, Roy Hodgson, you got correct. Uh, Rabakina. Roy Bikina was the ladies' Bikina, champion. Yeah. Uh, Claire won the All Ireland in 2013, and Michal Donahue. So you got three there, which buzzes you on to seven. 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 Okay, cool. Shane's out um, in front. I have a feeling I've Four for a draw. Four yeah. oh, for a draw. Five to Have take I? her home by. There's no repeated questions there, Catherine. Is there? Okay, great. Okay. One of these questions is pretty funny, um, and I apologise in advance. Okay, your time starts. Now, who is the top scorer in the 2023 football championship so far? No, pass. Uh, what company currently have the naming rights to the English League Cup? Carabao. Who is the manager of Burnley? Uh, Vincent Company. Who won the Open Championship the last time it was played at Royal Liverpool? Sh- Rory McIlroy. Yeah, who, was, uh, who did Leinster beat in this year's Champions Cup semi-final? Uh, Saracens. No, who was the Limerick... Started. Gone. Is this right, the win or where are we in this? He's got, this three. He's got three. Okay, who was the Limerick hurling captain? That Declan Hannon. Oh, that was the funny one. Sorry, but what can you do? You don't know who's going to be where. Get your international. Okay, so we have a tie break. Shane McGuigan. <laughs> the rules here with the tie break. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Shane McGuigan is <laughs> the top just... scorer in the championship so far. Carabao, you had correct uh, as the sponsor of the English League. Cup Vincent Company was correct. Rory McIlroy was uh, pl- oh. <laughs> plucked from thin air. As I, the didn't, last I didn't know that. <laughs> 2014. Uh, Toulouse was who Leinster beat in the uh, semi final, and Declan Hannon is correct which means we have a tie break Shane um, on nine points Arthur on nine points Will unfortunately doesn't defend his title too well I'm sure Silo Alahan won't mark this down in the no, official we'll record <laughs> um, so this now uh, we have the coin toss has already happened and if it is Shane versus Arthur then Shane who already lost the coin toss will shockingly have won this one and get Only to choose right. do you want to go first well, or second I messed this up the last time yeah, I'm gonna have to ask you how many caps someone has, yeah. and you. And have I to think pick. I messed it up by you going first. Yeah, because I had to name my number. Yeah. Whereas yeah. I'm gonna let Arthur. Go I first. won't accept higher or lower as an answer, but, but that's, that's, that's that's pedant. Like I mean, oh, yeah, sorry, just say right, the okay. number that's lower. I let Arthur go in first. Okay, Arthur. Do you want to? Here, here's a little uh, twist. Clarify, if I say so, my answer is X, and he goes lower. X minus one and is it's fine. X yeah. Plus one. Yeah. I win. Yeah. And it's it's close, close. Yeah. Close to Now here's 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 a little twist. Do you want to name... Do you want to guess the caps before I tell you the player? 
No. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling that you'll be as close. Will you just ask an arbitrary number? I'd like the number to be 32, please. Yeah. That's number one. <laughs> How, many, <laughs> How many Ireland caps, Arthur, does Paul Green have? Trap favourite. 37. 36. Shane's the winner! It's 22. 38 was a huge number for Paul Green there. But Shane, it feel congratulations. Good it doesn't feel good to lose that way, I know it does. Bodes well for the weekend. I need to, I, I get to say something, don't I? I'm going to play a song, just 10 seconds of the song. Okay. You have to play it? Yeah, I get, I get to say something as a winner, don't I? Uh, I no, but music. work away, yeah. I think that's around the horn. You're this, is, this is Declan Nerny, folks, okay? To play us into, into the weekend. You're, I, I'm not a Declan Nerny fan, but you'll enjoy this, okay? Just a few seconds of it, okay? Bye, everyone. Go on, the lads. Chris Martin. Oh, you're kidding me. September. Kyle Wait. Lafferty. Are you no! joking me? Is that right? I know. Is that right? Uh, anybody else? Leash, was it? Like, that is one of the most stupid questions. Darius Vassell? Seriously, you all need to just stay quiet. This is getting really annoying doing this quiz. What is going on here?